Hey guys, it's Fall in Design, and today I'm going to be doing a tips and tricks video. So, I'm going to be talking about layer styles, color correction, tools, and lighting. So, layer styles. Layer styles, everybody uses it, everybody knows it. I'm not going to go over a lot. Something really basic. So, layer styles. Are these what I usually like to do is whenever I want to put a different effect onto the layer let's go here and just scroll down kind of just see what I like see what I don't like what looks nice what doesn't so that's basically it here so you can just play with that yourself because I don't want to go into too much depth right now this is just a tips and tricks video so next I'm going to be talking about color correction. So, on this one, my new speed art, Door of Life, I have three color corrections. It doesn't, it looks, it doesn't look nice like this, but when I put the color correction on, it kind of makes the whole image pop out more. So, for color correction, let me just turn these off. So, for color correction, you go into Layer, new adjustment layer you want you want to use gradient map a lot because gradient map really brings out the colors so what you want to do is double click here and select a dark color so a dark green and then double click here and select a light color let's say blue light blue all right press ok and here you want to put it to overlay the layer styles you see so here you want to play with the fill a bit and see what you like so that looks good like that so next I put curves on these so new adjustment layer curves that's okay and you play with these a bit and you see if there's darkness or no darkness. So, like up around there looks nice. So, so next, I'm not going to go into too much detail with this actually because you can just go in and just go through these see what you like see what you don't like I'm just showing you basically how to use them alright so next is tools so for the leaf here I used magnetic lasso tool you have to right click on the lasso tool and press magnetic magnetic lasso tool automatically connects to objects and it's really easy to use so you can go over like this really fast but you don't want to do it on precise stuff that's gonna really matter like the pen tool is a lot more accurate but this is just an easy fast way of doing it you can see how it got cut out and it's pretty clean too so so next I want to show you guys the stamp tool so the clone stamp tool basically you select a spot and you can basically copy it to the other side so to select the spot you hold alt and you see that little arrow thing come up and you just press the spot you want to copy and put it on the other side oh I'm on the wrong layer so just press here and just go like that and you see it's up there you could also do this but it doesn't look nice it doesn't look organic so what what you want to do is uh, press once so here and then go select something else like up here like that and down here just get some more different textures from different areas so looks better so next 
I'm going to be talking about the smudge tool. Smudge tool, I use quite often. Like, I use it in some of my Assassin's Creed ones. So, this is basically the smudging I did. Let me just turn it to normal. And you can see that how I smudge it. I just pull, drag, it smudges by itself. What I did was to create, like, a basically, like, an organic glow around the tree. So, I put it to overlay. No, actually, I put it to soft light. I just played with this. So, see what looks better and what doesn't. So, it kind of adds that thing. So, yeah. So, next, I'm going to be talking about shadows. Shadows are really easy to do. So let me just, you, if you guys can see the shadow right here, close that shadow right now and show you how to do it. So select the layer you want to make a shadow of, so this tree, and then hold Alt and drag. Actually, when you go on the layers over on the right, hold Alt and drag. So now you have a duplicate on top of each other. So what you want to do with this duplicate is go into Edit, Transform, and uh, Flip Vertical. So you see how it's flipped. So now, kind of looks like a shadow, but we're not done yet. So what you want to do is Edit, Transform, Skew. Because of where the light's coming from, the, the shadow's not going to drop from there. So you want to just move it a bit like that. So you see it. So like that. So then you press Control U and bring down the lightness. So it's a bit dark. And after that, you want to go into your opacity or fills. You can use both. And there you go, you have your shadow. So now I'm going to be talking about lighting. Lighting is very important. So, basically, you can see how there's no light on this and it doesn't look effective at all. So, basically, to do lighting, what I like to do is find the area where the light's coming from and get my polygonal lasso tool and put a dot here because the light's coming from there. So, just go down like this and make a triangle basically and then fill it in with a warm color so get your paint bucket and warm color this is a warm color so just fill it in like that <clears throat> you say it doesn't look like much right now because you didn't change your layer style so you put it on soft light but the edges are hard so you have to double click it Go into outer glow and oh actually first you have go back to your layer and leave it at normal and then double click it and go into outer glow and then press the color right here and then press on your image so you get the same color so now you just have to do basically something like that just put it on soft light here and you're good let me just play with this so it doesn't just play with this see what you like and then you want to come back here and put this on soft light too and there's no hard edges and then what you want to do is change the fill just change how much light's coming in, change how much light you want in there. Just play with it. So now, you want to put another basic light on. But just do something like this. Right on where you want to put your tree. So just right where... The your object is so. so fill it in and you have this big box right there 
and you want to do the same thing, put outer glow on it, same thing, just click, and, oh, let's go, oh, this up, so just put this up here to soft light, and then press OK, and put that to soft light. So now there's more light on the tree. So now you want to play with the fill. Play with the fill. And then after that, you want to go get your eraser and erase this part. Because the light is coming from over here, from the left. And it's not supposed to hit that side. So maybe bring the opacity higher. Just kind of erase it. So basically like that. And I use lighting in here too. You can see how it shows that light's coming out of the door. So right here. Alright, that's it for today, so don't forget to leave a like and comment on what you want next. And guys, check out this channel, Gaming Nation. It's a community network that helps people get bigger by posting their videos. So it like tells other people to check their vids out. Like, It's just going to help you. Just check them out. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.